a Miss Diva winner of 2023 and a 22-year-old Assamese woman has narrated a trauma of being stalked. Khond has also alleged that a group of young hackers stalked her on Instagram, posted objectionable things, abused her, made disrespectful remarks and harassed her in every manner. She claims that eventually her Instagram got hacked and the account was blocked and the entire sequence of events left her traumatized, also affecting her mental health and her career. Now, later on, on the 9th of October, her father filed an FIR seeking strict action against the culprits. Now, let's speak to uh, Daisy herself about what she went through as she joins us now. Daisy, many thanks for joining us. Could you narrate the sequence of events that have led to a mental trauma that you're experiencing right now? There were a group of boys who targeted my account. They reported my account in bulk. And the reason they sided behind was um, for self-harm and suicide. Pretty absurd. And then my account got suspended. But again, um, then after that, I filed an FIA against them at Assam Police. I also went live on the local uh, channels of Assam. But however, the police didn't react to this uh, FIA. That's why they again posted yesterday. And this time they targeted my one of the posts, one of the bikini posts that was posted on the official handle of the Mistiva organization where I was the top seven finalist. And they called out that post as an act of nudity, which was again very absurd and challenged me publicly that my account is going to be hacked. Now it's not just my account is going to be hacked, it's just that I'm feeling really unsafe and I feel like the right of me being in social media has been snatched by those teenagers. And uh, the irony is that I don't even know them. So that is, that is, it is not about cyberbullying now, it's about harassment. It's, it's taking a toll in my mental health. Well, Daisy, if you could also shed more light on the case, do you know these hackers? Do you have any idea about who these hackers could be or what is their reason to target you? No, there's absolutely no reason. That's why I told that the irony is that I don't even know them. They are random hackers. It's like a wide group, wide circle. I think it's across India, as far as I heard. I just know two people from Sun. And uh, they just target random people on an everyday basis. Every day they target a new account. And just today, uh, one day they decided that my sister's account is going to be hacked. But unfortunately, she reported that and then they diverted their attention towards me. So this, and this whole experience is very uncertain. That's why I posted a couple of days ago after I got my account back that this can happen to anybody at this point of time. And after that, it can affect your mental health because these are really young boys and they can do so much with that. Well, Daisy, it's pretty shocking what happened with you, but when you reported the incident to the police, did they, along with the authorities, help you in any way? Well, um, now I'm staying alone in uh, Noida. That's why I asked my parents about it. I talked about it, and my parents, uh, in the middle of the night, they went to the police, filed in a fire immediately. They also provided them with numbers, um, and they were able to track those guys. But unfortunately, I have contacted the OC, the DGP of Assam, to help me till now. To uh, today they have given an update because of this repeated, you know, visits to the police station that tomorrow they are going to call all this voice. But uh, to be honest, I'm losing my faith. Well, Daisy, such incidents are very traumatizing for you as well as uh, for people like you. So how has this impacted you along with, uh, you know, those in, uh, those in this same industry like yourself? It's affecting me a lot because I have just started my career. I have moved to Delhi alone to start my modeling career. I have represented my Northeast at Miss Diva organization. And that account holds a lot of memories. A lot of achievements are there. And a lot of work links comes from my Instagram account. Yesterday, the, I sent an audition to some brand and the manager asked me for my Instagram profile. And I was speechless because I don't have it. And I told that it was hard. So it's taking a toll on my career as well. And it's affecting me a lot, mentally and officially, in every way I can imagine.